Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 46 CCL first round match between Rick Reckless and his Norse and Malala Noose and his Chorfs, Chaos Dwarves. In the booth with me is Fimea and Skrull Dude. Hello. 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 Ooh, we have here an interesting match. First thing I see Rick, uh, Sulavdon is firing the Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Rick does not have any inducements. Uh, Melanus has a babe, which is obviously a bit of a terrible inducement um, when you have eight thick skull players on your team. Uh, maybe but he should when have you only get, get 50k. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know if he scummed to get that. He might have scummed like 40k to get that. Like, it might be a fair game. Or maybe he should have cut more to get something better. Um, whatever. Yeah, drop a hollow and to get like an apothecary or something, mm. just to cut variance or get a reroll for the same reasons. Because I feel like even if you're down team value, you feel like you're the favorite team in this game. I mean, this short team is perfect versus Norse because there's only one claw, you know, no, no TB West team. Mm. And the Norse don't have any claw to strike you back, and they have a leap strength catcher and an agility. <laughs> Runner, yeah, yeah you, you know this is a rig team when you see suddenly see leap somewhere, uh, <laughs> which is okay. See, we know with a reroll it's a seventy-five percent. Mm. Oh, that's a bull out. Instant, instant, instant bit of rig Not to be fair, he exposed the bull off the LOS, didn't he? Which maybe he shouldn't have. Both bulls were exposed. It's kind of hard to, uh... If the Norse just want to go around hitting stuff, it can be kind of hard to stop them from doing that with their strength four. And they no, they can hit somebody, but you don't need to let them yeah. hit your balls, do you? Yeah. Like, like this is a strength five ball, and he was just like, here, smash me with your yeti, please. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that was a weird piece to use only for an assist. Hmm. Now it's okay, obviously, because there's loads of guard and everything. Okay, this is not like a little too much. <laughs> I mean... Oh, he's not fouling. There is, uh, there is no foul, and there is the whole Chorf team is in a... In a boulder. Yeah, for a it's, four uh, by five area. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, yeah, it's similar to the to what the one we did yesterday, where like it's just insanely narrow and compact, and it's just inviting pressure on. I guess he thinks he can win because he's the chorps and he's fighting Norse. So he kind of well, he's happy to invite the pressure on just to get, force the Norse to go with their blocks and just try and smash the eighty seven for some turns. I think that's but, a terrible, terrible idea. If that's his idea, nah, that's that's <laughs> that can be that can be Malanu's uh, game plan. I mean, uh, there might be something else there. Yeah. Not a good point against Frick anyway, you don't want to try and... That should have been his foul on the Yeti, by the way. <laughs> that should have been his foul on the Yeti. But, Apple uh, works. Yep. But the uh, two players down are ready for the chores. Yep. This is reminding me of a certain other match between uh, Chorfs and <laughs> Chorfs and Norse in the playoffs. <laughs> oh yeah, could we? It wasn't even the playoffs. It was the final, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was. I'm yeah. sorry. What are we doing? What is this? What is this play? What, what, what's happening here? <laughs> well, he's gonna foul him with one of these hobgoblins. He's, oh no! <laughs> hey, no, he's got no hobgoblins. Uh, left. Is he really that scared of the lead player? Well, I mean, you should foul him, right? Like, you can't just let him punch you. Especially as it's Rick. Which team has high and mighty blow plus It's strength foul? four, right? Yeah, it is strength four, yeah. Like, that seems mad. I mean, okay, he's got guards that are around, but still. It still seems mad to just let a strength four stand up right next to your ball. Because, like, he can still hit the, the chorf and stuff, can't he? It's, it's still like a blodge stepper, and Rick can go and knock these dwarfs around so that it's a blodge stepper on the ball with no guard around it and his guard's replacing it. He doesn't stand up and get a 1D at all, no. 
He no, stands on Gatun no. uphill. Yep. But he can hit. He can hit one of the. Oh, he can leap. Oh my god! He can oh. leap. Oh my yes, god, Ricky you lunatic! Cover. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent. Call it. <laughs> Yeah, he's strength four, but there was two guards. There was a guard behind him and a guard there. So, but yeah, he had leap. Amazing. That's why I, I was wondering why he's putting, you know, the ball so close to the leap player. You, you can't cancel guard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm tall. Wow. There was one assist no Anto. There were also two guard shorts around that square, which he couldn't cancel, so it didn't yeah. matter. What it yeah, yeah, there were two guards. There were two guards. Yes, yes, it was a. To a uh, was red dice. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever seen a no sleep as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's uh, for me too. That's a first. That's a. Uh... He gets this guy served. Why did he get him served? I don't know what the logic was there. He was the one that was that got blitzed by the bull. Yeah. Easiest pal of his life. No problem at all. Well, <laughs> there you go. Now it's uh, now it's real bad times for the Norse. I mean, you know, as bad as not the Norse, falls the down. Sorry, yeah. real, bad, real bad times for ah. the Chorfs, obviously. Yes, because yeah. the, the Norse uh, have a very good chance of uh, grabbing the ball now. <laughs> Losing the agility for getting served for no reason makes this a bit. A bit less bad because there isn't a clear, yeah. easy recovery. Yeah, I don't so. know what he was achieving. Like, I don't know where he was and what he was achieving. Like, because obviously he got bits and stuff, but I don't know where. I don't know where. I don't know what he was doing there. It's hard to pay attention sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> Especially when Norse are on the field. <laughs> wow. I think, yeah, I think, I think you have, have to not block it? there, right? They're, they're, these are, yeah. They can't free each other. And now they can free each other. And like that was just real bad, real bad. I don't know what he was thinking because that's just oh. really bad. Oh my god, well, these fouls! This uh, the idea for uh, send packing. Yep, yep. At least at least he's got rigged dice. <laughs> <laughs> that was really bad. Because now he's got a one D to one D the ball. Uh, is it a one D or minus two D? It's a one D to one D. Like okay, you would have had the four plus dodge anyway. So I guess. As an, so I guess as you as think sure. if you if you one D pow, then you can pow the other one, and then then he doesn't have a four plus to hit the ball. But that's asking a lot. I think. But I guess that's Rick. Strength five ball has been terrible, by the way. It has done nothing. Yeah. Gets the pow. Ooh. And the cast. Dude, what a crazy game this has been so far already. It's dead. Oh, oh uh, there, there you go. Perfect catch. Break tackle is a fake skill. And now break tackle works. Yes, he's got another dodge if he wants it. No. Oh. I like that dodge. I like going for that. Yeah, I like. Well, it's it's agile one. Yeah, but he had break he's, tackle still. So he's he rolled a six. No, no. Did he still he have break tackle? No. He still, yeah, he still had BT. He had yeah, yeah, he, he used the reroll. He used the reroll, and then rolled the five plus. So it was just a two plus to get in there again. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, another dead. Jesus and, Christ! Another dead chore. Well, at this point, um, <laughs> Milan is probably hoping he loses. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the six baited him, yeah. It was a trap dodge. <laughs> no, I mean, he had to go for the dodge, obviously. Yeah, no, the dodge would have made the position a lot stronger. Oh, God, this is just over now. Holy shit, what a turn. What a turn. Rick has gotten the better dice, but also this offense was bad from the beginning. Yes, yeah, I agree. Yeah. 
Rick has had pretty insane dice, but... Yeah, he's had an incredible removal dice. Taking that block seems silly. Yeah. Because now he just gets to free up without taking a dodge and gets the strength for... And get you a mighty blow hit on the Hobgoblin. That block seemed... I guess you're theoretically tying up the strength for Old Ferner. <laughs> yeah, but only but... theoretically. Yeah. Oh, yep, that's three roll in. Needs a second push. Oof. Oi. Now he's got a pow. No. <laughs> oh, wow, it doesn't follow. That oh, I think not out. following. He there, couldn't so. follow, yeah, he couldn't follow because he's the only one tagging the. Uh, he's the only one tagging the. Yeah, the tagging that short. But, sure. uh, I mean. That Yeti has failed uh, one animal at any point. Yeah, I I know why Rick didn't do the dodge, but um. But yeah, leaving an instant 2D. I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's not, and also, an instant 2D and the and the dwarfs don't have to use it. And they just yeah, we're gonna pick up the ball. Oh, we're not picking up. Who's picking up the ball? But he's at one, isn't he? So he's not. Oh yeah, you can't. You don't even have the 50 50 play, do you? Easy pal. I'll go one king and pick up the ball with the GF5. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, we're just leaving the ball on the ground? Well, there's not there's not many players to pick it up for Rick, is there? No, oh, but there was. There's no one in scoring range, so I guess he's just... Oh, no, there's, oh, is, right. this, is this Chof in scoring range? No. No. He's so, one player out of Yeah, I think, I think just getting someone in scoring range would have been better than standing on the ball, to be honest. Oh! Yep, look if you got oh, some of the score right there. There goes the Yeti! There goes the Yeti for guys! <laughs> oh, I used the app on the Yeti! Wow. Rick, what the hell? Well, he's running out of players, isn't he? He's taking three cards. Yeah, but there is. <laughs> look, the players that got cards, they are better players than the Yeti. <laughs> yeah, I think that was, I think it was really bad. I, I didn't hate not picking up the ball, but I, I would have just moved that guy into scoring range in case you get it next turn. Mm hmm. He's the heart and soul of the team, the Yeti. Yeah, this this Pommer could have got could have got apple'd. Oh, is it? This oh, next though, so it might not have worked. And the others are just a lineman and a lineman. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, and you can't apple the uh, Agi four KO on the surf. So. I know. Sure. It was a badly hurt. Okay, I can see why you do it. Yeah, yeah, it's an expensive player. It lets him high roll against the other nine. Especially now that the rules are coming in, you might you actually might need this claw to high roll on your top ups. Two TZs. I think uh, I think there's Remember more. there were there were twenty remember when the game started with twenty two players on the field? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Those were the days. Those were the days. <laughs> that seems so long ago now. <laughs> there are uh, twelve? There are twelve players now? <laughs> Are you overestimating that? I think you were overestimating it. There wasn't many left. I think there were like 10. <laughs> oh, here comes oh, the chaos, chaos. And the bull stays out. Boy, howdy. And the, and the one with the babies, uh, Malaranus. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yep. God, oh, these are so bad. They're so awful. Yep. I wish they were just like a bad apothecary or something, where you could just use it to get one KO pack or something guaranteed or something. Yeah. That's just why I prefer everything. the Apple, you know, because the Apple can just, yeah. like, Apple could have been used on that KO'd bull, right, on turn one. Mm -hmm. And then it's essentially stopped the Kaz on turn one, which is amazing. I guess that would still be too good if uh, the Babe was, maybe make it 100k and you can just get, you can turn one player from KO to stunned each drive or something like that. That might be better than. It would be. Yeah, like, mm, yeah you because if you get though. if you get more than one KO, then the babies as they are right now, they are very good. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, it's a it's a very different effect. I and suppose. double babes as well, right? Is a thing. So like, and it means double babes is a hundred K. Yes. Yeah. And if you get you know three four KOs, that's that's quality. Yeah. Yeah. Rick Dacker to win. I hope, I hope Rick Dacker is. I don't think he will. But... This doesn't look like a Dacker, you know? <laughs> this is not a setup for a Dacker. For Rick. What a kick. 
Ooh. Right. Where does it all want to go? Okay, that right is probably is better for Rick. Yes, yeah, you just want to win this one nil. No. Yeah. I mean, both coaches are trying to win it one nil. No, I don't think either has any visions of this going to overtime. <laughs> yeah, but like the, the it's it's more in Rick's hands, like isn't it? Like mm -hmm. you know, the the, uh, the shorter drive is better. Like he's not gonna. Like he's gonna have to go. What what I mean is going one nil up is better than going nil like better than going you know not scoring kind of thing. I yeah, know that's obvious. But you know what I mean. Like he'll take an early score it, to score. Yeah, having so, so it means Ryan that, helps um, because of that. It means that like a four or five turn is a much better play than it is with eight. Yeah. Yes. He can just punch it in and live with it. He 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 needs to store one turn less. Yeah. In general. Yeah, like it, it wasn't an essential to it. Like this drive is not an essential eight turn stall drive, is what I was trying to say, yeah. So so yeah. so having a having a riot helps with that. In that regard. Wow, fails sure hands it. fails. Unbelievable. Getting just... Mr. Throw vibes there. <laughs> yeah, Rick has a Norse thrower, the literal worst thrower in the game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I don't know. I guess, I guess Mr. Throw is arguably worse than the North Throw. Mr. Throw has a more essential and useful role on his team than the North Thrower does, because Mr. Throw has sure hands, so he at least has a skill that does something on offense every turn. Yeah. Or every drive. Yeah. Theoretically. And the there's, there's Zon Throw is pretty terrible as well. But, yeah. Zon Throw at least has dodge, so it's better at moving. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he's still got block, right? So it's like... They've got don't like the thing is you could potentially get a thrower to carry the ball on zones yeah. where and like it's giving you something better than him and whereas you've got a runner to carry the ball on 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 no so there's just no point in a throw. I, I think I'd rather I, I feel like the zon catcher is a better carrier though for the zon thrower. It is, thrower. but, but a, a thrower is still better than a lineman. As a, as oh a my god! Wow. Again. wow! This is not looking good. Wow. Imagine if imagine if the Chaos Dwarves had a team, they could put some pressure on him. I mean, they'll still put a little bit of pressure on but... You know, it's a shame that Rick doesn't have an Agility 4 guy who'd be picking up the ball. Especially if it was like Movement 7, he'd pick up the ball and like, get fat, go away faster. That'd be really helpful for him right now. That would I bet be he only has really this Agility 3 catcher. Yeah, that'd him. be really good if he had an, an Ag 4 runner. Yeah, if he had one of those, yeah. that would be really good. Yeah. Doesn't know how to see, so what can he do? <laughs> Well, to be honest, picking up with the uh, sure hands is better than picking up with the uh, AG4. Yeah, of course it is. But you would still want but, the AG4 around there yes. as well, right? Just in case things go wrong. It is also to use the loop hack. Uh, you'd rather have agility 4 when you want to put the reroll in for it, which I think on that last turn you would have wanted to put. You would have been willing to put the team reroll in to have the guaranteed increased success rate yes. on that last turn. Yeah. Which is always his insane like reasoning for why he wants extra armed over sure hands as a starting yeah. skill. Yes, like it was, just, it was just—it was just a pure bang of self from Rick, wasn't it? He just yeah. LOS'd everybody, and then had two people back. If he'd had like mm -hmm. some kind of formation with a bit more back, he could have gone back a bit and defended the ball a bit, but he didn't. So he just ends up with two people fighting a whole team, and he's got mm -hmm. everyone stranded up here. Like it's ridiculous how forward these guys are and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's been pretty bad, <laughs> to be honest. And he's got this bull centaur. Who's bad except for like doing all? For what people think bull centaurs are for, which is carrying, but is good at everything else. Oh, fuck <laughs> <God's sake. laughs> fucking god. Well, it's gonna be 1 0 to oh the god. Chaos Dwarves. 8 oh out of 9 god. times with the dodge. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And now obviously he's gonna pick it up without even using sure hands, right? <laughs> this is not Rick Dice, no. We can't really. That will do. Stall though. Mm, I don't know. Uh, well, the dodge lead player. Oh, sure hands works. Yeah, he's strength uh, four. He can't, he can't stall it. Yeah. And I also think scoring to get yourself another reroll, KO reroll, is also pretty good. Besides, get the other ball into the game. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's on a three plus. It's not good though, is it? You'd rather stall if you could. I think it failed. You'd rather stall if you could, but it just wasn't possible. Just not possible unless he went for the pickup with a ball. 
Yeah. And even then, he's got Dauntless on the strength four, right? So. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. They, they, I don't think there was uh, any stall chance. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't even two people back, was it? It was just one person back. This was a very... This was like a way too bangery setup from Rick, for sure. Like Not just having the agility four back, I think, is kind of the... Kind of, like, well, you just, have to he's have only got one four. back. Like, you know, everyone should be protecting against a Blitz, right? Like, if he gets Blitz, how bad yeah. is this against a Blitz and stuff? It's just... It's just way too bangery. Oh, boy. And of course, he was super unlucky, failing three pickups. Yeah, no, it was three one in nine pickups. Incredibly obviously. unlucky. But it was still, it was just still a very, very bangery sell. Which you know, a bangery isn't necessarily bad, right? But I think at nil nil with men up, you should be a bit more conservative and and just try and minimise his outs a bit. He split his teams up a little bit. A very difficult uh, situation for the Norse here. It's no, not incredibly difficult because no. now they've got the ball in hand and it's going to be actually pretty hard for the Chorfs if they can get the ball up and like some kind of protection to really break into it. Mind you, they have the, the uh, Agility 5 cage break, but that's kind of all they have. They don't have any real recovery. Unless yeah, but splits his team. Rick only has four turns to score. Yeah, four turns is okay, isn't it? Norse are quick when they need to be. He's got Mr. Tato here. He's got the edge four. So he's got he's got two he's got two players that can do things yeah. and move fast. Their strong guys are fast compared to most teams. So this the is a bit of a gaping hole now, though. Position. This is a disturbing. Ah, he's got this line of three, I guess. If he'd had to, if he'd had to hit with All the, right. yeah, eight to three, yeah. So now he's got to expose that guy. But luckily for him, the uh, bull doesn't have tackle, does it? It's a bit weird that no one on this Chorp has Palm yet, but probably would have liked it this game. But I don't think he really has actually had much of a chance to really hit on these Norse. No. No, it's it's not the best Chorp team ever, is it, to be fair? No. It has uh, a good Bull Centaur, that's about... That's, that's really it. about all that, yeah. That's it, I mean, he has the... The basic Chorp equipment. Yeah. You know, uh, guard, mighty blow, and a few stun firms, but he's uh, missing the pylon uh, power. Yeah, yeah, if this guy had pylon, just like one more skill, just like 20 mm -hmm. more TV on like a, on a 1800 TV, or maybe 1700 TV team, just 20 more TV makes it like twice as good. <laughs> yeah. Or if the, and if the other bull was in the game and had a break tackle or something, wasn't just block, it'd be a lot better too. Just because it would make the team much more mobile. What it is right now, which is yeah. one bull centaur can move. Yeah. Thanks, Kalon. Yeah, we'll we'll do this one after this. We can catch up a little bit. Oof, frenzy trap. I I can hear space frenzy right now. It's a frenzy opportunity. <laughs> that was literally what happened. <laughs> that was what happened at some point. I, I think it was at the beginning of the game. That space is playing. You know that that concept of two dice into one dice. How you call, how could you call that a trap? <laughs> the chunter pass. Oh my god! Yeah, it is the chunter pass. Yeah. It does. It does help because otherwise, you know, strength five can just do a two plus to get right next to you. Or a three plus. Yes. Yeah, it makes him dodge twice, yeah. yeah. One D for a POW for some GFIs to hit with a one D. On the Ulf and a three plus dodge to recover. Could do pretty shit. Uh, Alright, so he's just kinda of giving up. Well <laughs> He's just giving up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, gonna stand in front with. He's gonna stand in front with a strength five, but that's look, not very good. Is you it? You know what? Let's uh, go to extra time. This is. Uh... I mean, you can try and maximize blocks a bit, except there's gonna be overtime and fifty-fifty. You've got a decent chance of winning, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't rate my offense very highly after no, this game. But... No, but you know, like that could be what he's thinking, to give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I don't. Lovely self removal. 
the dodge seemed pretty bad. I don't yes. really know why. Yeah, that 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 dodge. But then he's gonna get mighty blood, right? If you don't dodge him, so. I mean, I it's now one D, and the old bird just has to run up into the field, or we don't. I guess we're just doing a two plus dodge then. The runner has downless anyway, so. And you four. Nah, I think yeah, the, the two plus dodge is uh, yeah. Better. Yeah, if if he'd if got if he'd got the push on this one D, then he would have blitzed him. Hello, red. Just walk it in. So yeah, maybe maybe the the free elf. Oh no, the free elf couldn't get there. Could he? Yeah. Oh no, he just did the dodge anyway. Wow. Wow. This. I kind of my squares, right? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, he could just do a two plus dodge yeah, and just yeah. walk into the end zone. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. that the, the score was uh, yes, a straight two plus, and then you go because yeah, you move at seven. Yeah. Yeah. You can argue that if he fails the dodge on the one in nine dodge, it's not as bad a fail state as failing the two plus dodge. But I think he just had to do the two plus dodge like a hundred percent. It wasn't against tackle. I can also say because you you're saying I want to save rerolls. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, with, if I'm being against tackle. tackle yeah, yeah. Yeah, against tackle, I don't. I think you have to just take the two plus and just block it in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Maybe, maybe there's also the high roll chance that if you get the pow on the blitz and get like a stun, you can saw another turn. Yes, yeah, and Rick does love to try to high roll. Like yeah, that is maybe why, that's what it is too. That is why he is lucky, isn't he, with Rick dice? Rick, you know, like Rick you... was going for to kill the the bull. He yeah, exactly. Start armor yeah. wreck a full death. Yeah, if, 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 if you do, if you do the if you take the two plus dodge, you know, a hundred games out of a hundred, if you take that two plus dodge, then uh, three times you'll you'll fail and lose, and people will think, oh, he's unlucky, right? Or three or four times. Whereas if if you go for the dodge and into blitzing the bull centaur a hundred times, one of one or two of those times you'll kill the bull centaur, and then everyone will say, what a lucky dog. <laughs> so like that's it, isn't it? Still a two-turn chance from Malala Noose, but the uh, perfect defense is... Going to be hard without a, a second break tackle bowl and, and without that other bowl being, you know, not agility one. Yes, it was always going to be hard, but the perfect defense has made it substantially harder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the point of nearly impossible. But he's still got three rerolls versus one, so big, big... Uh... And Rick only just got that one, didn't he? He used his last reroll, didn't he, to, to do that? Did he know perfect defense? Okay, I'm confused. I thought Rick would use his last reroll to do that. He did use a reroll, but he had two. I guess. Five. Yeah. Maybe they got one on the previous offensive drive. He's for ten. That was no, it was PD again. It's PD. Yeah, that's PD, right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But then he, yeah. So he's he's got he's got a bull downfield. He's got a chance. Yep. Don't don't stand in there. This is Norse. <laughs> That's that's not the right square. <laughs> this is a Norse team. He, he didn't pop sure hands, sure feet, did he? Eh, uh, no. He did all three go for it, though. I think. No, he only did two. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't do three. No. One, two, three, I thought he was going to do an extra one here. Why, he wait, how did that ult get free? And why is this a two and two or one? I mean, all, all good questions. Because Rick's just gonna KO him. Easy. You keep, you keep talking as if Rick is going to fail one of the real important uh, roles, you know? <laughs> he fails the dramatic roles, the, the ones in turn 12, turn 13, not turn 16. <laughs> <laughs> Never bet against Rick when the match is on the line. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Are you crazy? <laughs> My fault. I, I should I should watch more. The man no remember. show to, you know, master his bad roles, put his bad roles at the beginning of the half or you know the middle or something like that. And yeah. there you go. Yeah, Rick's like yeah, every eighties cool. action movie, isn't he? He gets his fair share of adversity. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's the first, it, yeah. The first eighty minutes, but at the end, yeah, he's he's gonna come through. At the end, he doesn't have to reload his machine gun anymore. It just keeps firing, firing powers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Firing powers. 
<laughs> throw his entire CCL run. He sí, didn't sí, have no, to reload the pylon. Of the so. turn, last action of the turn. Last action of the turn. Yeah. As Carl, you know, oh, unlucky block there, you know, yeah. get the player uh, thing like that. But that's it, that's game. Yeah. Look, guys, I get bad dice too. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's uh, overtime. Guaranteed. <laughs> if, man, if those Norths, those, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, we're going for the 2D on the um, Strength 4 guy who's just available to hit. Oh, damn it. Wishing he could re-roll that. Wishing it was turn eight of normal t of the first half when you can use re-rolls. Yep. I mean, three re-rolls for overtime is really strong. Yeah. Problem is there is barely any player left. Yeah, yeah. The problem is you're playing Rick. You've been banged out, and you're probably going to lose the toss. <laughs> Has Rick failed any KO roll all game? Uh, that's a good question. I don't we'll think see, so, we'll actually. See end, we'll see at the end, because Valeranus, I think, I only got one or two KO rolls all game. Yeah, he said, he said two of, like, five. We need a flicky counter. Where's flicky? <laughs> well, here we go. So the, the Chaos have won the toss. So there's uh, six, ten, ten Norse. And nine chores, so it's not terrible, but yeah, obviously, you really like the second ball and the actual carrier. He's yeah. not the you know, it's not over yet. Wow, and this and chore team is not well situated to score quickly. With players. But Rick, Rick has done the rule of five. This is uh, this is very dodgy. We could be seeing a quick score, guys. I mean, obviously, how? the worst possible. Uh, how no, uh, do we get a a touchback and the bulls on targets the ball for free so you don't have to oh, okay okay yes I thought really? yeah, you just push down that side like I, I i hate putting a guy on the other side and i hate putting four on the los oh never mind yeah but i hate i hated putting four on the los and i hated putting a guy on the other side just just put everything here and hope hope you get lucky like you've just got it right because you're just not going to win a protracted a protracted engagement and the rule of five would have let him get quite far down the field Mm-hmm. And, and it is OT, and you've got a strength five break tackle, so you can just try and roll some dice and get through yeah, most I things. Think, I just think the longer the game goes, goes on, it's going to be it's going to be bad, bad for right. the chops. Block is a skill. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it's it? Pretty... Early on, Norse like their block is just an offensive weapon, but later on, mm -hmm. it does it does keep them it does keep them protected. It's quite a well. horrific defensive weapon in the beginning. It's like it protects you, like not really, because no one else has blocks. So they're just re-rolling those sits anyway. It's really just a way for you to kill stuff. Yeah. Compared to Amazon Dodge, which makes them basically invulnerable at both team value. Yes. Oh yeah, low TV. Yes. Yes, Amazon's having dodge is like uh, versus chaos or uh, a team without block is like uh, it's, a, it's a joke. Yeah. You have to go and preventing every block is going to be pushes because every block will be pushes. Oh, let me drop this guy back. I don't. Okay. I just don't really see the value of that. Okay, I guess I see what she's trying to clear up that side. I might have. Okay. So he can go around a little bit on the other side. How did I? Have I mean, I'm not saying he should have done. Or I'm just saying he didn't. <laughs> I think he, he he might have thought about bringing him back a bit. Rick doing the thing that everyone does, including myself. But when you watch in retrospect, you're like, why are you doing that? Which is, you're not blitzing with your wild animal guy. Just move your wild animal guy. Just see where he wants to go. Don't save him for the last action. So you just oh, okay. So you know what he's going to do. Oh, oh we're doing a GFI. GFI. Oh, okay. If this guy had something... been back lucky, he wouldn't have been tagged out. <laughs> <laughs> and surf next turn, so he's got to dodge at the end of the turn. Well, Alanus loves using his ball carrier for assists. Yeah. Second time he's done it this game, with like. Four yes, turns of having yes, an actual yes, ball yes, carrier. Yes, yes, and the first time it cost him the ball. Yep. <laughs> because the the leaper was there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's that's good, isn't it? You you just blitz mm -hmm. him and then that frees them both. 
perfect blitz with his edge five. It's almost like he knew he had a. He, it's almost like he knows he's got an edge five dodge there, <laughs> having built the team. <laughs> Amazing. It is hard to forget things when you're casting a game. I feel like you know because obviously you didn't build either team, right? So mm -hmm. like, you miss that Rick Sky's got leap on his strength four. I just no, you just you, because you haven't been spending like twenty games with this team, so you don't just have like a running tick in your head that I have five guard, I have five mighty blow, I have a strength five player. Uh, yeah, you don't have that just going in your head from playing with the team over and over again. Yeah. Rick, of course, getting some stuns on the turn where it matters the most. Yep. <laughs> but also, this left side feels really weak, right? Uh, uh, yeah, this left side's insanely weak. Uh, okay, get, that's gonna get yeah, it's gonna get shorter. You had yeah, you had to do that because otherwise this was just. But now, hand off to Bull and Tato. Let's go. Have some nuts. Ooh. I think That's yeah, hand off to the bull and tate or like genuinely. I know it's a five plus. But six plus hand six plus catch. Five plus, because you book bits him off first, right? Yeah, you bleed the yeah. the piece. I mean this because this is terrible. Yeah. What is happening right now is all. Yeah, now you just lose. This, this is yeah, this is Kadena could be typing in chat now. You lose. <laughs> Send packing. <laughs> because now, like this, there's nothing here. This is absolutely horrendous. Rick does have a journey four around the ball this time. Yep. For the first time in the game. <laughs> oh, I like I like the I like the uh, both hit on him. Because he could have pushed him and then hit him again and chained him to mm -hmm. there. But I mean, he's he's got other things he could do. Okay, yeah, we're going for the old flips for uh, two into two, which is nice. Yeah, yeah this is a bad With the Jody Ford to recover, and he could even hand off if he wanted to. And win immediately. Hand off and score. Oh my Let's go. Eating, it's fine. Yeah, I like eating the failure. Because ball's so well controlled, the game's pretty yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, I think I think the play was to... Was to Say blitz off the line or hand off and then tail all through. Yeah. And then for Rick, I think, yeah, he just, he, he fails at any point there, but he's just going for the pickup handoff and win the game immediately if he can get it. Yeah. And, like, there, there was multiple ways, obviously, he could have gone about getting the ball. Yeah. I, I would have liked to have hit this way just because you had players here and, uh, and that you'd have follow up hits and stuff. So I would have tried to engineer a blitz up there. But obviously, this way you've got better players. Better instant recovery. Should I say? I think I think that's it, folks. It's looking it. <laughs> Move it the yeti first, just so to see where the yeti moves. Yeah. Very oh good. my God, wild animal! Yes, you know when this is not relevant at all, but. Uh... <laughs> yeah. And now is his blitz of his Ooh. life. Oh! Adding some drama there. <laughs> now he does reroll. Surprised we rerolled that one. Yeah. It's... He's just got bored and he's gone for it. <laughs> and there you go. I think with 2G5, Rick style. <laughs> Ball it, game in command, just give it the chance for the game to See, the reroll re used it at the beginning of the turn to create drama. Rick was just like, fuck it, the F1 qualifying's on. <laughs> I'm just going for it. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Uh, why block? Well, because he could have powered him, right? And then it's then it's so much easier. Um, well, there you go. That that was that was it. Well, congratulations, Rick. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see the KO rolls because I'm curious about uh, the dice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dice rolls. Block or boss. Wake up. Yep, six out of six for Rick. And for Malalanus. Uh, three out of five. Three out of five. And they were three pluses as well. <laughs> Sorry, three out of eight. Three out of eight. Yeah, three out of eight. Yeah, three, three out of eight, 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 yes. <laughs>
the expected is what five or six out of eight there. Yeah. 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 Wow. And you know, 100% KO rolls, you know, every single Norse wanted to be part of the team. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, 19 AV breaks, no claw, easy. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. But there you go. I mean, it's not really unbelievable because it's Rick, but uh, congratulations, Rick. Lovely fellow as well. Commiserations, Malalanus. Thank you very much. Find me on Scroll, dude. Absolutely glorious having you on. As always, lovely, lovely chaps. All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.